Hello, and welcome to the Million Dollar Speaker Podcast. Hi, I'm Harvey Robinson. I'm the master speaker trainer, international speaker, and author of Speak Up, Get Clients, which is now available on Audible, and your host today for the Million Dollar Speaker Podcast. This podcast is a little bit different from some speaker podcasts in that we really focus on what makes you a million dollar speaker speaker, how do you reach millions, and of course, how do you make millions by speaking? So if that fits you, you are in the right place. And I have got a treat today, because sometimes speaking, we need visuals. And I've got a visual brand strategist with me today, and I'm so excited uh, to introduce her. Her name is Val Lowe. She's a brand strategist, podcaster, speaker, and visual business map facilitator. Val is an expert at creating order for entrepreneurs and taking them through their next level of growth and impact. Val provides wisdom on clarity, messaging that attracts ideal clients, and a brand that stands out in a crowded marketplace and online workflow. Her specialty is creating visual maps, visual business maps, colorful and powerful visual plans with icons and images that map out a business owner's strategy, marketing, and workflow. Val puts the pieces together for entrepreneurs to share their brilliance and make a bigger impact on the world. So please help me welcome our guest, Val Lowe. Hello. Yay. Hello, Val. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here, RV. Just so excited. I, I am so excited to have you because even with speaking, you know, speaking is audible, right? It's an audio type of learning, mm -hmm. but people are not just one sided. They're speakers, they're auditory, they're visual, mm -hmm. and you help people with visual learning and visual demonstration and visual speaking, I'm going to say. So I'm so excited to have you on the show today. So excited. So I want to start with our first question, which is a question I ask all of my guests. And I know because you are a speaker that you'll be able to answer this question with ease. But what do you think are the characteristics of a million dollar speaker? That's such a great question, RV. You know, it, what I really think that a, a million dollar speaker needs is to be authentic and authentic. to bring that, that voice that they have. Because I know it took me a long time to get, I call it speaker ease, where you, you know, you've got a pattern that you fall into and you've got, you know, you're trying to follow the steps and everybody's giving you advice and, you know, maybe you're in a program and whatnot. But it's that comfortable speaking language like just like you and I are talking right now using that comfortable language and talking to a person rather than the speaker ease like so it's being comfortable it's being knowing your your um your platform your what you're speaking about really well so that it comes like you just you're just talking to people like you're just gently and easily speaking with them and that's I think my biggest tip for being a million dollar speaker is that connecting with the audience and being authentic. Beautiful. And that is so true. And yes, we do need to be trained in order to be able to be a great speaker. All great speakers are trained. But once you're trained, you push through to a different level and then you can be authentic, be yourself and really connect with your audience. So we're not saying don't get trained. We're just saying keep learning, keep practicing and push through what might feel a little robotic in the beginning <laughs> to your own authenticity. And then that is something that you're going to reach. Right, mm -hmm. right, Val. I mean, on your own through this process of speaking. Now, tell us how long have you been speaking? Oh gosh, how long has it been? Oh, <laughs> a long, long time, very long time. Gosh, okay, so I, I we're don't just, even know years. <laughs> I was going to say, we'll just keep it at that. A few decades, and that is yeah. it. All right, a few decades. Yeah, me too. I don't want to say how many decades. <laughs> All right. So you have seen a lot of changes 
in the field of speaking over the years. So tell us what is one major change that you have seen, whether it's for the best or not, what have you seen? Oh, one of the best things I've seen. Hmm. Well, we're talking okay. about, yeah, we're talking about being authentic and it's, it's that, it's people just coming to the stage and really being who they are and, and being a value of service to people. I think that people are really standing up and, and bringing more, bringing more of themselves. I agree. I agree. Because in the old days, people would lecture and talk at the audience. And now you can actually connect and be with the audience. And that has been a major change over the years. So let's talk a little bit about you and your business. And we'll come back to you, your speaking part of the business in a little bit. But but I'm so fascinated with the whole business mapping and the visual. So let's just jump right in and tell us a little bit for the, our listeners that may not even know really kind of what it is. Uh, talk a little bit about what it is and then how you do it and what the benefit is for your clients that actually hire you and get this done. Yeah. I'm going to back up a little bit, RV, if you don't okay. mind. Yes, just to give you an idea of where I've come from with, with biz, business mapping. I started as a professional organizer. Oh, and I go, yeah. I, yeah, and I go in and I'd, I'd help um, entrepreneurs get their offices organized and do an amazing job. And they'd be happy and so just really enjoying their space, their organized space. But it didn't often last. Like, it was pretty True. soon they were back to where they were. And I thought, how can I keep people, entrepreneurs, organized? So I went down that path of productivity and efficiency and mindset and getting coaching certifications, financial background, and just all these pieces put together. And that kind of took me into, got, I just stumbled into business mapping. I took a doodle course and married it up with business mapping. And so now I take the strategy that organizing those pieces and let's bring them all into the map one map your ideas so they can get focused in on those things because as you know as entrepreneurs sometimes we're just all over the place chasing those opportunities and so that's really where it started is what's the clarity what's that how do you get yourself organized into one place uh, on one piece of paper Got it. So, so again, tell us the definition for anybody that might be like, what is that? I've never heard of it because it's not mind mapping. If you've heard of mind mapping, it's not that. So tell us what it is. Yes. It's like mind mapping, except that it, for me, when I work with someone, I take their ideas and put them into icons and images and colors onto a piece of paper that shows them who they are. It might be a little, um, uh, doodle of them as a person uh, as a, for instance in your business speaking I would have a mic on there and they'd be on a right. platform and then maybe there'd be uh, a little bit of an audience and some of those pieces but bringing all of those your ideas bringing that clarity in on a one piece of paper so it's a visual business mapping and it, like I mentioned it's it's sort of like mind mapping but it's way but it's not right because to me mind mapping is like little balloons what mm -hmm. people are thinking and, and and they don't go anywhere what i saw some of your examples was almost roadmap like yes it felt like there was a, a way to go and a and a direction where oftentimes we don't get that with mind mapping yeah. so beautiful i love that love 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 it is so different. So tell me uh, the benefits. Why should a client work with you? Besides, of course, getting clarity, but why a map to get that clarity? What is the benefits of getting that visual map? Well, I mean, like I said, you got to figure out where you're going and what you're going to do before you can even get there. I mean, we just get off so off track. And so with all the ideas that we have, like I said, it brings it into one piece of paper and it doesn't just have to be just your journey. It can be a um, strategy or it can be a marketing plan or a customer journey or a funnel. It can be anything you need to get clarity on, but then it takes it to the next level with the images and the colors and the pictures because our mind sees color, sees those images so much better. I mean, you, I mean think of a billboard. <laughs> when you see a billboard, 
you remember some of those ones. You might right. think, oh, that's really weird. Or, hey, that is really cool. And so you remember those things. And that um, helps you to your brain. When the brain sees that image, then it's more likely that you're actually going to accomplish what it is you're setting out to do. Beautiful. So that's the biggest benefit. So mm -hmm. that will actually accomplish what we set out to do, as opposed to maybe some linear list yes. of direction that we're going. So yes. I love that. And I love the other thing that you said, I just want to reiterate it a little bit, that you'll have a different visual map, maybe for different activities, like you said, marketing. So there might be a whole different set of of you know visuals that you'll have for that then maybe a coaching program that you want to develop or mm -hmm. maybe your your speaker um you know strategy that kind of thing so i love that now when you do these different ones do you use different colors like you use different icons but do you, you try to use different colors so people can you know make sure they don't get them confused how does that work yes well it's i kind of do it intuitively and now I'm looking at you here, RV, and I'm thinking, oh, RV likes red. I well, can tell red she is likes my brand. Red, red yes. is my brand. And normally I would be wearing red today, but I felt like wearing blue today. Yes, and I would <laughs> see that blue too. And I'd probably do a, a border in red because I know that's your brand okay. and you love that color. But then I might have a, an icon of you and I would put you in blue because you like those colors. So that's a couple of things I'm just seeing and I'm bringing that in. And yeah, it's just whatever color seems to fit. I mean, if we need a tree there, then obviously I'm going to probably color it green unless, you know, right, you've got a funky, right, right. funky life going on. Right. But I didn't know if you had a different color, like marketing plan was a blue, a client coaching plan was green, you know, just so they could identify it. So that doesn't matter. Oh, well, actually, yeah, I've created a methodology when I started organizing go. and I have a color system, like I have a planner and that's part of the... Um, the uh, freebie that you have for me for the audience today awesome yes but i've got a color system that goes with it so i'm using those as well as i'm bringing those in into the uh, maps too but i'm kind of paying attention to who you are and what's best for you well that's special okay well like i said normally i wear red when i do these interviews but today i just felt like a blue day uh, <laughs> so i don't know if i want you to put me in blue yet <laughs> yeah wait a minute <laughs> okay so um tell us a little bit more about <clears throat> about um you know how you would use this for speakers i mean most people listening they're speakers they want to be speakers they've already been speakers so if they came to you and said okay val i want to have a speaking strategy mm -hmm. What would you do? How would you pull it out of them? I mean, because you have a lot of speaking experience. You're not a speaking coach per se, but you've been in the field mm -hmm. and you know, you know, kind of what the strategy is. How would you coach them or how would you work with them on that? Yeah, it depends who they are and the direction they're going. But that's where we would start. Where do you want to go? What's your direction? And then maybe maybe you need to look at your audience and dig a little deeper into fine-tuning that maybe it's changing up your speaking altogether maybe we need to look at that a little bit just whatever direction you're wanting to go and i would pull some of those pieces out as well because sometimes we we need that help and as a coach like a trained coach i can do that some of those pieces if you're really stuck i can help you to just work through that as well so, okay. so let's talk about your coaching for a little bit, because mm -hmm. you do a lot more than the maps. So because you're a branding strategist, mm -hmm. you know, I want to talk about that. And then we'll talk about, a little bit about your own podcast. So mm -hmm. our listeners can listen to that. So tell us a little bit about your coaching programs and maybe a little bit about the brand. I don't want people to think, oh, she's just going to doodle all day, right? <laughs> she's going to give me a doodle map, but, you know, I want them to know the depth at what it is you do Val. yes yes and uh i'm looking at this more like i do have coaching certification yes i'm looking more as a consultant and i'm going to take that idea of yours let's get it on the map and we're going to go from there and so mostly what i would take them then is to the marketing side like let's get your okay. your message clear your brand clear i can help get you online if you need a platform to get online so that's kind of the flow and, and i'm and as I'd mentioned, the coaching thing is always there. The organizing coaching is always there. But that's more of the path that I would take people on is let's get you clear with a map. 
direction you want to that go. That would be the start. That'd be a good yes. start. Okay. Very good start. And then, like I said, with the marketing and the branding and then getting online, those are some of the more important pieces that, because I, I mean, most people want to get to the money. <laughs> right. They want that map to lead them to the money. Now, let me ask you about this, because there's a lot of marketing talk, of course, for years. I mean, it is not, and I've been in business 18 years, and I've heard this, I've seen it, I've gone to classes about it, and that is the marketing funnel. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what makes yours different from the marketing funnel that people have taught out there in the past, or maybe it's nothing like it, but just what, what happens when someone says, well, oh, it's a marketing, I mean, how do you, what do you talk, what do you do? Yeah, I actually look at the marketing strategy or the marketing plan, like how do you take yeah. where you are and move yourself along so that you're, you know, getting some momentum and, and making a bigger impact and bigger revenues. And so a funnel, when I talk about a funnel, I'm talking about the specifics of a funnel, steps. Um, the steps. Yes. I mean, you've got, maybe you're launching a product. So what are the steps we can take you through to launch that product? So it's not, I don't talk about a marketing funnel. I talk about the marketing yeah. strategy and plan. And then if we need to create a funnel that on one of those avenues, maybe you're building your email list, launching, whatever that happens to be then we would do a funnel for that. Okay, so you will do a funnel. Now your mm -hmm. funnel, is that a picture as well? Is that a doodle art? Yes, well? yes. You know, and I could, if you wanted me to, I could show you a couple of the-, the, I, the I, If you could show us some, and for our listeners, just describe what you're showing. And then mm -hmm. for our YouTube viewers, they can actually see yes. it. Okay, so I'm gonna okay. show you this. You talked about the map. This is a journey map. It's- uh, Q1, 2, 3, and 4 with action steps you can take. There's a place here that it's just the high level kind of vision for your year. Beautiful. Yes. And it's just lots of different colors, your colors. And it's like I said, it takes you Q1, 2, 3, and 4 with an action steps that you can just look at. Beautiful. So what we're looking at, it looks like, looks like a road mm -hmm. um, with a uh, water running through it as best as I can describe it yep. with squares of boxes with looks like things to do or, or tasks. And then we've got a world with a heart in it. And we've got a mountain looks like, like the mountain at Disneyland. Um, and we've got a cloud with some money uh, figure in it and mm -hmm. something else that's a marker, some sort of a marker. So very yeah. colorful, very clear, um, very good. And it's just a drawing, right? It's a drawing. Yep, yeah. it's just hand drawn. And this is for Melissa. And her, um, her big goal in the year is a healthier global community. So that's why you see that global heart in it. it. It's yeah. a great reminder. And we've all learned, mm -hmm. you know, in the past, we've all learned the power of, of vision, vision boards, right? And how they come true. Even if you don't have them up on the board, they'll come true. Mm -hmm. So having this done, having it, I mean, I would laminate that, of course, and put it in my office or, mm -hmm. or, la or put it on a PowerPoint and then look at it. Uh, in the morning before I started my day. I mean, there's so many things you can do with it mm -hmm. to remind you and to make, keep it alive. But again, in vision board processing, you don't even have to look at it every day and it still works just because you created it. And I'm exactly. sure that's the same with, with your boards as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, excellent. Well, now what, what kind of coaching programs do you offer your clients for this for branding strategy. Oh, and then I want to talk about your podcast, but for branding strategy or your map facilitation. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your programs. Yes. Uh, one program I have, as I call it, Magnify Your Brand. Oh, nice. Yes. And, it, and actually what I start out with is finding out what your brand archetype is. Okay. The personality of you and your brand. And we have a look at that. And then we can build your brand uh, strategy, your brand promise, all of those pieces. It really digs into who you are and how you present yourself to the world. And then that goes into the entrepreneur marketing program. So, so taking you through the steps of getting your message out there in a bigger way. Nice. And then the other is uh, map it. Map yeah. it. Yeah, okay. the map it strategy, and that's all about the maps. Um, I can do those one-on-one -on -one with people. 
I'm working on some bigger programs with this. Got a book coming out called Map It Strategy. Oh. So lots of pieces coming with the Map It. Beautiful. Well, mm -hmm. great brand, great brand yourself. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your podcast. Now, does mm. that have to do with mapping or is that what is that about? I started out with focus, freedom, and entrepreneurs doing great things in the world. And it's all okay. about business. It really is all about business. Good. It still is, although I'm moving it around into the marketing and the mapping a little bit more. But yes, just entrepreneurs in business doing great things. And I'm just so excited every time I have a guest come on. And I'm looking forward to you having you as a guest on my podcast soon. That's right. I'm going to be on your podcast. And, and again, what is the name of it? So we can all go and listen. Yes. It's called Focus and Freedom. Focus and Freedom. And is where is it located? Yes. All Focus the top? And, yep. All of those podcasts, items, like 25 different platforms. Excellent. Time. You know, you and I use the same um, the same podcast um, company. Ah, yes. You, you didn't know that. No, I did not. Yeah. So we're both using Amplify You, which is my dear friend, uh, Michelle Abraham and her um, um, her team. Troy is who does mine. Does Troy do yours? No, I have, uh, somebody I have someone there. special. Someone special to Melissa does yeah. mine. Um, to Mel, to Michelle does mine. But I'm telling you, if you do need, um, she's been on this podcast. Look her up, Michelle Abraham. Definitely. Amplify you, and uh, you know, don't try to do a podcast without a professional team because it will not sound the same so i just want to give a shout out to michelle mm -hmm. shout out to troy um i didn't know it but when i when i told him i was interviewing you today um that's what he reached out to me and said oh i can't wait to hear it she's one of our clients and i'm like all right <laughs> So extra, extra fun. You just never, ever know. All right. So I look forward to that and uh, go and anybody listening, go and see Focus and Freedom. Go and listen to that podcast. All right. So we just have a few minutes left and I am dying to know what free gift you have for our listeners today. Yeah, it's an introduction. I call it um, the planner, the daily planner. So it's a one page. I've taken all my methodology put it on one page, you can do it, use it every day. And my methodology is you have a goal over the year, you pick three things that are going to get you there. And then you just do it, do it every day, you do something that's going to get you there. And it's a few other pieces there as well. Excellent. Now, if somebody wants to get a hold of you for coaching, mm -hmm. or they have a question, mm -hmm. uh, how would they do that? Oh, gosh, uh, my email is val at valo.me, V-A-L-L-O-W dot me. If you'd like easy. to email me, yep, or my website, uh, valo.me. There you go. It's pretty easy. Okay, so I just want to spell it for anybody that's listening. Um, it's real easy. It's V as in Victor, A L Val. Her real name's Valerie Val, and last name is Low L O W. So when she's saying Valo, it's that's what she's saying, Val Low at me, M E dot com. So that should be really, really easy. No, did Val I have valo.me what did i say valo.me dot com valo.me.com no i'll put it in the show. <laughs> say it again then you say it it's valo v-a-l-l-o-w dot me m-e oh there's no at there's no ad. I was like, what am I doing? What am I saying wrong? There's no ad. Well, that's even easier, ladies and gentlemen. Valo.me. Woo! Easy, easy, easy. Okay. So make sure you get a touch with her. Make sure you go in the show notes and get the free giveaway because you, I guarantee you, you won't see anything like it. All right. So Val, what are the, any last words of wisdom or brilliance would you like to leave our listeners today? Oh, gosh, just get out there and do your thing. Find your thing. If you haven't, find it and just go out there and share it with the world because there's people in the world need what you've got. They mm -hmm. really need what you are, what you're created here to do. So just do that, please. Amen. Well said. Just the world is waiting for you 
your words and your brilliance. So thank you, Val, for sh sharing your gifts with us today. And that ends our show. So for all of our listeners, thank you once again for being here. And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.